Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you for tuning in on another Tuesday night. Turn back the clock Tuesday tonight. We are heading back 20 years into the past to the year 2000, and we're ripping a hobby box of Stadium Club Chrome. The very first year Stadium Club decided to do this, and then they went on a hiatus until this year, actually, and the release of 2020 Stadium Club Chrome just came out a few weeks ago. Haven't got to experience those yet. Never got to experience these either, so I'm looking forward to this. We have Jeter on the front of the box there. We have 24 packs inside, five cards per pack, and I'm not really sure what's up with this tape. The box is sealed, but it's taped. It's kind of um, a little bit ghetto, which is what we're all about here. So we're going to get started tonight, ripping into this, checking these out the first time. There's a lot of insert cards to be found in here. These were $3.99 a pack back in 2000, and they obviously didn't really sell very well because, like I said, they ditched the idea for 20 years afterwards. <laughs> Paul L., that is definitely a good idea. A Scruff McGruff reference. Let's cut into these, see what we can find. Notable rookies weren't really abundant in the year 2000. The most notable rookie card you'll find in here is probably Brett Myers, I would say. Very futuristic style box. Let's see if we can hack into this. And a piece of scotch tape for whatever reason. <laughs> This is like a Rubik's Cube. I don't... Is there some sort of special way you're supposed to open this? I don't know. Well, I guess we will uh, find out together. It's the freaking Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Corey. Oh, uh, that is too funny. All right. So... What a weird box. Wow. Okay, kind of a cool design there. You have a checklist inside of here, which a lot of companies did around this time. The ghetto is alive indeed. All right, we have three stacks here. We have 24 packs. So everyone is going to get six packs. And we'll start off with the first six. And we got John A., up first, we'll move Dennis Cook off to the side here, and we'll get to ripping. Check these out for the first time. Like I said, refractors are, I think we should see like two per box, or in this box, I should say, and a bunch of insert cards. So, <laughs> John Fishman says 2000 Stadium Club Chrome, so easy a caveman could do it. Yeah, it's kind of a weird uh, design there. John A's in here. What's happening, man? So five cards per pack. We got a bunch of odds on there that none of us will be able to read, so we're not going to... Uh, Go over that. I just hope these aren't bricked up. It's obviously kind of notorious for these years around this time. And Chrome, they really seem to be um, kind of immune from paper loss, from my experience. Very nice uh, design on these, though. Ray Durham. I never saw uh, the regular Stadium Club base set from this year. But there's Ray Durham for Paul L., first card in the pack. Andy Ashby. Joe's card curls in the house. Very first pack. Look at that. Insert card of the kid. Capture the action. That's pretty freaking awesome. John A., I don't know if you're a Griffey fan or not, but um, that is a pretty freaking sweet uh, insert card. I don't know anyone that's not a Griffey fan, actually. So pretty awesome. Right in the very first pack. We uh, we experienced that last week, too, with the Derek Jeter rookie card, and then everyone left the stream. <laughs> so capture the action. It looks like those are 1 in 18 packs. So this is probably the only one we're going to see in the box. Please don't go anywhere. We might see an iron one. You never know. Um, that's a pretty awesome one, though. Griffey. And look at that. Corey's PC guy. Kyle Ripken. I bet you don't have that one. That's a pretty cool card. And Shane Reynolds. Not too bad of a first pack. Griffey insert and Ripken base. Freaking sweet. And A-Rod. I think John A. is an A-Rod fan. I think so, at least. Um... Nice A-Rod base car. Richie Sexton pulled his rookie card out of 95, traded. What was that, a week ago or something like that? Jake P's in here. What's happening, Jake? I actually met Jake at the flea market at uh, Rossi's on, um, what was that, Saturday, I think it was? Saturday or Sunday. Griffey base card. J John, you're off to a good start, man. Griffey insert, Griffey base, Ripken, A-Rod. Freaking sweet. Ignore my fat face reflection in the background of these. There's Lance Berkman. Yeah, so they are stuck together, but uh, no paper loss. And there's Brady Anderson. 
Coming in hot. John Fishman says, I see BJ Wallace is on the cover of the box. Oh, man, that is the comment of the year. I love that. John Fishman is referring to um, my fake call last week on the 93 Pinnacle whenever I thought we had a Jeter coming up, and it was actually ended up being BJ Wallace and Corey Stack. There's the crime dog for Corey, Fred McGriff, who hopefully will make his way into Cooperstown someday. Derek Bell, I don't know anyone that really is a Derek Bell fan. I know I never was. And the refractors, I'm, it looks like we have a refractor in here. Hopefully it's not Karim Garcia. Mark Grudzalonic, I would have been stoked on that back in the day, which wouldn't surprise any of you. So there is our first refractor. One in, what did I say, 18 packs? I think something like that. Mark Grudzalonic. I think was kind of a fan favorite for a few months back in around this time and then fizzled out. Corey Patterson and Kevin Millwood. He got arrested a couple years ago. <laughs> Mark Arson here says, good luck to all that got in the taco smell fund. <laughs> Mark Ar, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you being here with us. I was actually at Taco Bell earlier today. I only mentioned that. I took a hiatus for, for like three or four days and then uh, I couldn't take it any longer and I had to go back. Got myself a couple bean burritos. They were pretty good. Manny Ramirez leading off here. Appreciate that, Mark. Hopefully, we'll be seeing a video get posted from you here pretty soon. Eric Munson, we have an insert card coming up. Please don't be Karim Garcia. Hopefully, I don't jinx us by saying that twice in a row. Adam Pratt? Adam Piat? I don't remember him at all. Daryl Ward and insert card of Larry Walker. Eyes of the game. It's pretty cool looking card never seen that before either adam pratt was awful it's it's not adam pratt though it's adam p-i-a-t-t -T. unless it's a freaking typo <laughs> i don't know i never heard of him eyes of the game larry walker though hall of famer larry walker nice one there good stack so far boom slang appreciate you posting links to people's channels make sure you're checking these guys out and mark uh is trying to get his channel off the ground there David Justice with the sun in his eyes. Jay's openings isn't here. What's happening, man? So those other games of cards are sweet inserts. Those are cool. I like those. Dave Justice. Jose Vidro. Rookie cards actually in 93. I have that one in my rookie box. Mickey Morandini. Tony Gwynn is a nice one, too. Like, I don't know if there's a little bit of paper loss on Tony there or not. That's why I don't really go near these early 2000 and late 90s boxes because unless they're chrome or finest i really don't trust the paper loss this is a pretty interesting looking card right here of ed sprague when he played for the buckos which i don't really remember him playing for the buckos at all but uh <laughs> that's kind of a funny looking card though very interesting and suggestive pose on the catcher there and joe's card crosses taco bell and latrobe is shut down temporarily I thought it was from the virus outbreak. I guess they were remodeling. Weird time to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yeah, that would piss me off, too. I know the one in uh, the one closer to me a few years ago before they turned it into a Starbucks was closed for like a month because they didn't have air conditioning. And um, let's just say I suffered that entire month, and I was pretty pissed off. Appreciate that, Joe. Joe's Card Corral, please check his channel out. I know Corey and Boomslang will post a link to him. He needs to get a video out for us for in time for Christmas. Oh, geez. We got Matt Williams leading off in his Diamondbacks uniform. Not used to seeing that ever. Peter Bergeron. His rookie car was actually the year before this. Big prospect there, and yeah, I guess you can believe that uh, I was really pumped on him. <laughs> really pumped on him. Greg Vaughn, Joseph C. says, all I want for Christmas is a G.I. Joe video and a grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. Joseph, thank you, man. Yeah, I've uh, been getting closer and closer to unleashing that G.I. Joe video. There's Roy Halladay, though. That's a nice one. Nice way to end your stack. His rookie card, actually, in 97, early on in his career. No longer with us. Rest in peace, Roy Halladay. That was a good stack, John. I definitely, um, we pulled some nice ones out of there. Griffey insert, Larry Walker insert, base, Griffey, and several others. Not too shabby at all. And then that will take us to the next stack here. We'll start out and, uh, I guess we'll do, make this one top right. Jason Easterling. I don't know if he's in here or not, but the next six packs are yours, man. Nice flashy packs. Stemmer's Hits is in here, too. It says, hey, John, Merry Christmas. These are nice cards. 
You should check out our stream this past weekend. Gave away some fire. We are live this weekend. Stemmer's Hits, thanks so much for being with us. I appreciate that. Um, you know what? I didn't get a chance to watch your videos this weekend. I was actually gone most of the time. I wasn't really home at all whatsoever, but I'll definitely check it out. And also this weekend, you guys will be going live, what, Friday evening? Friday evening around what time, Stemmer's? Jason is in here, and Jake Pieces, man, this is a beautiful set. Even the base cards look high-end. They definitely do. Yeah, I appreciate you guys all being here with us. Looks like we have another refractor in here. It might be an insert card. Uh, Preston Wilson, Mike Cameron, and <laughs> not really a highly desirable name there, but Alex Escobar, Visionary. is definitely a cool card, and it's also a refractor. Alex Escobar for Jason Easterling. Sorry it wasn't a Mark Grace. Edgar Renteria. I think those visionaries. Troy Gloss, pretty early on his career. Um, visionary Fractors are 1 in 90 packs. Holy crap, man. I'm sure there's not too many highly desirable names in that, um, that insert set, given the year we're opening. Alfonso Soriano's in there. I mean, there's definitely some better ones than Escobar. Alfonso Soriano is probably the best one, I would say. But 1 in 90 packs, pretty cool, though, regardless. Visionary for <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> oh, man. That is too good. Joe's card crosses. I'm going out on a limb. I'm more likely to make a sample video before Xmas than John doing the G.I. Joe video. Yeah, I definitely want to get it done. I started, well, I started working on this Christmas album again. Um, I don't know if anyone saw in the chat beforehand, but I've released two Christmas albums. Um, it's been five years since the last one was released. Um, the first one was an EP. The second one was an LP. And I started to work on a single. There's Ron Coomer. Luis Gonzalez. Does Dennis Cook have a Legends insert in the set? <laughs> Joe says. I wish, man. David Walling. Yeah, dude, two Christmas albums are actually completely centered around um, somebody that we grew up with. Jason Kendall, that's a cool card of him. And nothing else too notable in that pack. Stemmer says, the past is live. I have Timmy until Friday night through Christmas Day noon. We are live at 8.30 Eastern on Friday. Sweet. I'll definitely try to tune in. Check out Stemmer's Hits if you haven't yet. The father-son duo. They're always pulling fire over there. I'll definitely... Uh, Try to tune in this weekend. JT Snow Jr. On top of this next pack. Christian Guzman. Mike Paradis. I heard that name in a long time. Miguel Tejada. And Chuck Knobloch, or as Joe remembers, one of us used to call him Chuck Koblock. Maybe it was Mark. Maybe it was you. I can't, I can't remember. JT Snow Jr. The hell. Yeah, no, I was kind of thrown off by that, too. It was Carlos Beltran. Pulled his rookie card out of 95, traded recently. <laughs> Joe says it was me. <laughs> Chuck Koblock. Tom Goodwin. There's Pat Burrell. That's a second-year card for him. Pat the Bat Burrell and John Patterson ends that pack out. Stemmer says, what does a 2000 Chrome Holly Box go for? These ones, I got this for about 100 bucks, so somewhere maybe a few dollars over. $100, I think it's because of how scarce they are. I would never even knew this. these existed until, I don't know, maybe like two months ago. I'm like, sweet, I want to get a box of those. I never got to open them before. I think if you look on eBay, they're probably, I don't know if there's even any on, on there right now. If they are, they might be a little more expensive. There's John Wetland. Holly Box of 2020 Chrome probably goes for three times that I imagine, maybe even more. Miguel Cairo, Josh Hamilton, that's a second year card for him. It's a shame what happened to him. Rob Ryan and Eric Karos. Stemmer says, did you know that in 2000, any baby born in the Harlem Globetrotters gave away lifetime tickets for the baby? I did not know that. That's pretty interesting. Final pack for Jason Easterling, the collector. Mike Mussina, Corey's PC guy. Dave Roberts. Let's let's hope for a nice hit in here in this pack. Let's say you're due. Dave Roberts. I missed that promotion by two months. Bernie Williams. It's a cool card to him. Uh, Jay Gerke. 
don't remember that name either. Mickey Lopez. Your son got it? That's pretty crazy. And the final card, Mike Mussina. Ends that one out. <laughs> Captain Clipper jersey is greater than G.I. Joe video. That ends that stack out. No more graces for Jason. And it takes us to the bottom left. CNM Collectibles is up next. I don't know if he's in here or not, but the next six are all you, and then Roger J is after that. Pretty quick break, I guess, when we only have uh, five cards per pack. I did find, uh, I don't know, I found another Mark Grace card, Jason. I don't know if you have it or not. It's an insert from the late 80s. I'll, I'll add it in your stack. There's Jack Cust. Shout out to Paul L. I know he probably loves that name. Collector Hulk, what's happening, man? Yeah, G.I. Joe video is just a myth nowadays. There's Vladdy Guerrero, though. That's a nice one. Nice base card to him. It's almost time for Sloppy Joe's Nachos, Stemmer says. <laughs> ben Christensen, Brian Jordan, and Ricky Henderson. I want to say I got that card out of somewhere a while ago. And speaking of um, that card, I think it was from a Yak Pack box, actually. I think it was a regular base stadium club from 2000, but... Uh, I was looking at Yak Pack cases or trying to find them on eBay again because I figure it's about time that we get together and we do another one of these Yak Pack cases and torment ourselves. But um, there are none on eBay anymore. There's one. There's a guy selling one box on there. I think it's like 70 or 80 bucks. And, and sold listings, I noticed somebody paid like 70 or 80 bucks for one box. Not, not a case, one box recently, like as of like the last... I think within the last like several days, <laughs> somebody paid 80 bucks for one box of Yak Pack. All right. CNM, good luck to you. Jay Bell, there's Nomar Garcia Para. Let's try to find another nice insert. Sean Green looks like they all came out in the very first stack. There's Chris Benson batting, kind of an interesting card. Him, Maglio Ordonez, very early on in his career. $80. <laughs> $80 for one box. Yeah, you, that would be pretty depressing to pay that much and uh, only have one box. At least at least get a case out of it. There's Mark Grace. Stacked too late for Jason. And we have an insert card coming up. Hopefully it's a nice name. I think I just gave it away. Ryan Christensen. There's Mark Grace. Shipper Jones. Check it out. Corey, you should have bought into this break, man. True Colors. How freaking sweet is that? Very, very nice. Um, I don't know what the odds are on this one. <laughs> Maglio before his buddy Chavez. <laughs> Chavez destroyed Venezuela. Um, it looks like True Colors are actually 1 in 32 packs. There's refractor parallels for like every single one of these. And Randy Johnson. Very, very cool. I like that Chipper Jones. Maybe CNM, Chad, and uh, Corey can work out a trade or something like that for that card. Joe Beast is what have John had a secret channel with all toy videos and a whole group over there, like a double life, and he's building <laughs> to a huge online fight with the communities. Oh, that is glorious. I love that uh, that notion, and it very well could be true. There's Criterion Racer Lee. Lee, thanks, man. Scott Williamson. I will be mailing out your candy cane. Lee actually actually won the baseball card candy cane giveaway. I did did it last year, and Corey won it, and then Lee won it this year. We just gave away we gave away a PSA ten Juan Soto rookie card, and then uh, candy cane. He got the candy cane. Hopefully, he'll make his first video. We have another we have another insert card coming up here. Visionaries, Chance Capel. So I'll be sending that your way uh, tomorrow, Lee. Hopefully, you'll make your first video. There's Delgado. And it looks like a very cringeworthy name coming up in here. Who's that? It's very hard to read. Chris Singleton. Eric Munson. Not a very um, desirable last name. You got Munsoned. <laughs> Visionaries. Not the refractor this time, though. Joseph is our way we can track down Visit Raleigh Fingers. He does autograph signings. We definitely should. Well, actually, two packs left. Brian B., what's happening? I wish it was Roy Munson. Much more than uh, Eric Munson. Devon White. Need to make a Roy Munson trading card. Vinny Castilla. I'll probably stay away from uh, 
these early 2000s cards for a while. Marvin Bernard is a refractor. Another one that's not really too noteworthy. Mike Lieberthal. People compared him to Thurman. <laughs> that's crazy. There's Pudge Rodriguez, though. And the final pack. Yeah, <laughs> what an awful refractor. Marvin Bernard. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's usually how it is. If you open, like, mid-late 90s finest and stuff, like, every time I do it, I always get, like, bum refractors. I never pull, like, a freaking, I don't know, Gwyn or, you know, well, what is that? I'm trying to hide these cards, but they're all stuck together. Or Griffey or anything. I guess we pulled that Griffey refractor out of Bowman's Best. That was pretty awesome. Tory Hunter. It's a pretty awesome card to him. Put my fat fingerprints all over these. John Allrude, Mike Bordick. I'm trying to hide this final card to build the suspense up, but I, I just can't even do it because they're all stuck together. <laughs> Chad Hermanson with that gnarly handlebar mustache. And Chipper Jones again. Clear shots. Very, very interesting. Wow, this is uh, some of the great box recorded by into. Clear shots are one of 24 packs, so one per box. You'll see one of these. Very cool. And that ends out seeing him collectible stack. I don't know if he was in here or not. I don't think he was. Not too shabby, though. Some nice ones in there. Trippy card, Brian says. Big Race is going to do a G.I. Joe video with my 70s Jeep trailer accessories and red beard G.I. Joe to motivate you. <laughs> Joe is 1964, not 84. Mark R., thank you so much. Please post a link to Mark R.'s channel. Big Race, ball cards, and auctions. He's just getting off the ground. He, uh, he came across a bunch of Joe's stuff from the 60s. All the Joe's stuff I have is from the 80s, the early 80s. I mean, they made Joe's in the, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and 90s. They're still making them to this day. Well, it re-releases at least. Um, but he's got some ones from the 60s. I don't know if you're trying to sell those or what, Mark, but um, they definitely could have some value to them. The final six packs here, I think... Uh, I think Mark R is getting, what are you, I think he's around 50 subs or something like that. Somewhere in that range, last time I looked. I'll try to get him to 75 tonight, help him build his channel up. Sean Casey, the final stack, Roger J. I don't know if he's with us or not, but good luck to you, man. Rich Arolia, Jeff Cirillo, Lando, shout out to you, man. Al Lighter, the first pack of the end of the break. And Albert Bell. Just uh, watching the replay a couple days ago of <laughs> the Albert Bell when he was <laughs> around in the base and destroyed Fernando Vina. Just literally smashed him into the ground so hard. What are you doing in that situation with Albert Bell? Albert Bell is a freaking beast. Epic. Johnny Damon leads off the second pack. Raul Mondesi <laughs> for Corey. He really packed the weight on over the years. Another insert card coming up. Bernitz. Try to hide this one, but... John Jaha for Paul. And our insert card, Mike Piazza. That's a very interesting uh, photo of him. Looks like he's like <laughs> throwing a temper tantrum on there. Nice name, though. Eyes of the game, Piazza. Very, very nice for Roger J. Paul also is that smash is probably why Fernando Vina had... That's a wacko batting stance. Yeah, he had to be scarred for life after that, man. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> Joe's guard corral is standing in the tracks when the train's coming through. Jack Parkman. Jack Parkman is the... Man, he is awesome. Like, why don't they have a Jack Parkman rookie card? P.S. is probably screaming at Clemens. Mark R. from Big Ray says, getting the Streamlabs app set up to do some live breaks coming up in prize giveaway for subscribers and chat at the time. I'm looking forward to that. I'll keep an eye out for that for sure. Alex Fernandez. What is that? Todd Zeal. Capture the action, Pat Burrell. Not as nice as the Griffey we saw earlier, but still, I think those are like one in 32 packs, something like that. Todd Jones, maybe one in 18. And there's BGO. And Kevin Young. NCJ says, I saw Piaz October 17th. Still looking good at the Reading Rally. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Jake says, I'd love a Parkman one of one. That would be so awesome. I was looking at Parkman jerseys and stuff online. There's, like, not that much memorabilia out there for to, like, celebrate those movies. They're so good, man. I've seen some, like, um, um, 
Wild Thing Vaughn cards and stuff on there. And I feel like I saw some Jack Parkman custom cards, and they're all custom, though. I'm surprised that no companies ever actually made, like, insert cards like they did with the Sandlot. That'd be freaking awesome. Scott Brocious, the Roger Dorn poster. Yeah, that Roger Dorn poster was like the 93 triple play design. I remember that. Jason Worth. Mike Hampton. Trevor Hoffman. None of your businesses. I got a whole cedar chest full of money cards in the cases. That's sweet, man. Roger Dorn. <laughs> That'd be sweet to have a Roger Dorn poster, man. I would love that. Rusty Greer. And the final two packs for Roger. And then I, I don't know what we're going to open next week yet. There's Maddox in the back. I think 96 Emotion. But I've had that box for like three months now. I think it's probably time to finally rip into that. Scott Pike says, do you collect old Beckett's? I definitely do. I still have all my originals from when I was a kid at my parents' house. And um, I've started a collection at my house over the last couple of years. Dean Palmer. So I keep them all in like magazine poly bags. And um, he used to pull them out sometimes for videos like this, but I kind of got away from doing that. There's Tony Clark, Russ Davis, Jack Townsend says, what did I win? <laughs> Roosevelt Brown, Future Star card. I think it's the first one we've seen that actually says Future Star on it. That's pretty interesting. And there's Greg Maddox, though. Nice one. Ends that pack off with the final pack of the evening. I think that Griffey insert card was probably the nicest one so far. Jose Lima. And Mark Grudzalonik saw his refractor earlier, and everyone in the chat flipped out. Todd Helton for Chris or um, Chris Weaver, if, if he's here. Joseph sees his next turn back the clock should be 1984 Don Ross or 88. They'd, <laughs> they both cost the same, don't they? That is a good point. There's Corey Myers. That, they are very close in comparison. Brian Giles. And the final card. It's a cool shot of Jose Lima. So nothing absolutely amazing and outstanding out of there, but uh, definitely some nice cards overall. I think the boxes are priced a little high, but I think it's based on uh, supply. I don't think there's a whole lot of these out there, but I, I paid 100 bucks for this box. So if you want to get yourself one, have at it. You'll probably pay around the same price, if not more. Um, and then future breaks coming up. We have... A few things lined up for the next few weeks. We have 2003 Upper Deck Series 1 and 2. Sosa and Griffey on those boxes. Looking for autos, relics, stuff of that nature. But I think next week is going to be 96 Emotion, the last year that they made these. Skybox and $172.80 tag on there. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. But uh, we'll probably do these next week because I've been sitting on these for quite a while. But... Um, that's something to look forward to, and then in the next couple of days, um, I'll probably maybe have the post-2000 rookie card video for anyone that might be interested, and possibly another auction coming up in the near future. Once I get a new timer, and the first thing we will sell off is the old timer, <laughs> if anyone wants it. That is all I have for you guys tonight. I appreciate you watching, as always. Happy holidays to all of you. Uh, stay safe. I think we're supposed to get like, I don't know, seven inches plus of snow tonight and tomorrow. So um, stay safe, stay warm, enjoy the holidays, and I will hopefully see you all in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching.